you were Mukul Anand's chief assistant on Agnipath. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us what what are what are the things you observed absorbed and observed on the sets of Agnipath because that's a huge film. Agnipath was. Uh, I mean, that can be an interview on its own. I was working with some of the industry greats. Amitabh Bachchan, hmm. Mithun Chakrabarti, Lakshmikant Paralal, Anand Bakshi, uh, Neelam, my friend, Madhvi from the South, um, you know, Vaman Guru, the great editors. Uh, my father was the DOP. So it was like, um, like a number one team. Yeah. That was making the film. And I was really lucky to be around this great talent because every day uh, was learning. Yeah. I learned so much on an everyday basis. Uh, these guys are powerhouses of talent. When I look around now, I don't find anyone even close to that time. Mm. Of course, it would be unfair for me to to compare the times. The times have changed. Uh, the techniques have changed. The audiences have changed. Everything has changed. Mm. Uh, but those were still analog times. That was not digital time. Uh, those were still times where we did the things the old way. And especially I learned a lot from Vaman Guru, Vaman Sahib, who has been the one who taught me editing, hmm. who I consider my editing mentor and even like a, a spiritual guide. Yeah. Uh, my father, of course, uh, I've learned all my life from him. And I learned a lot from Amitabh Bachchan. I think I was very lucky to do not one, but two, but three films with Amitabh Bachchan as an assistant. Which were the other two, sorry? So I did a little bit of Hama and Khuda Gawa. Oh, okay. And then I was also on Maya Azad Hoon for some time. Okay. But these three films I didn't complete. I mean, I left hmm. due to various circumstances. But Agni Pada, I saw it through the whole film. Did you notice any starry air around him? What was Amitabh Bachchan like back then? Amitabh Bachchan during Agnipath was no less a star than he is today. He will always be a huge star. Hmm. It's unfortunate that the Gen Z uh, has not been able to see Amitabh Bachchan in his youth and that stardom yeah. of his, the youthful stardom of Amitabh Bachchan. They have seen him these are seen as the stardom of an elderly, elderly gentleman, hmm. but they haven't seen the stardom of the angry young man. Uh, but I have never seen someone so disciplined, someone so conscientious, so in love with his work. He didn't have any frills and fancy, you know. Uh, I think before, even before a superstar, he was a super actor. Yes. He wasn't interested. Or let me put it this way. Stardom came to him because he's a fantastic actor. He didn't become an actor out of stardom. You would have fans flocking the sets even back then? Well, those were times when, I mean, I still think there is, but those times especially there was a lot of um, police protection mm. and, and and there was a lot of security on the set. So I remember this incident, um, we were shooting a scene and um, we were assistants standing at the back. So there was this group of people who had come on the set and they wanted a photograph with him. And we were just having a conversation, me and a couple of colleagues. And I overheard them saying, Are Amitabh Bachchan hai to kya hai? We'll just go and tell him, thoda right mein, thoda left mein. And they were just having fun. Okay. 
and then amit ji came and he said you want a picture suddenly they were gobsmacked and i think that's the word they were like yes sir <laughs> and all the fun and jokes that they thought hmm. that they would throw at him they couldn't i don't think there is anyone as awe inspiring in today's uh, world hmm. as i have seen mr bachchan be completely agree with you absolutely namaskar this is vikram bhat and you are watching me on news 18